Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time to talk about something important. Now, over the recent release of my shirt... Links in the description below, you could go get one yourself. There is an NA in an EU shop. Regardless, there has been some confusion about what my logo is and my avatar. I figured it's time to talk about it. There have been many conspiracy theories about what I actually am and what my avatar is. I'm here to... What was the line again? I'm here to... I'm here to tell you exactly what, what my avatar is. Was that good? Many people have argued in the comment section and I've seen many comments regarding it saying, What the fuck? Smitty was a milk bag the entire time? I thought he was a pillow. Or the classic, I thought he was a marshmallow. You're all wrong. It is definitely a milk bag. Bags of milk or uh, milk bag are very popular and um, very common in the eastern part of Canada and I'm sure even parts of eastern United States, probably not, but you know, and I've, I've heard about them being in other parts of the world as well. So Canada isn't the only place. And I wasn't aware of that when I made that my avatar. So I, I kind of related it to being a Canadian thing. That doesn't matter. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, it is a milk bag, not a pillow, not a marshmallow, not a fucking bag of cocaine, even though that one seems very viable, judging by the amount of energy I put in some videos. It seems, you know, I can see why they, that would get confusing, actually. You know, that's a fair point. Bag of cocaine, you know what? It's whatever you want it to be. But in my eyes, it's a milk bag still. It's a happy little fucking milk bag with a smile and a little propeller hat. So I'm sure some of you may be thinking at this point, Smitty, what the fuck is this video about? Why are you explaining to me why your what your avatar is? I don't give a fuck. I just like your videos. No, you must know exactly what my avatar is, damn it. You see, the thing you're all missing here is, let me break it down for you. How are milk bags made? You need to acquire a plastic bag and milk. Now I understand that they use some sort of untold magical mystery secret to get the milk inside the bag completely. But the first two items I mentioned, milk and plastic bags. What do these items have in common? Absolutely nothing. But wait, milk bags, pillows, marshmallows, and cocaine. If you take out all of the items that are not dairy products, what are you left with? The milk bag. It's a goddamn conspiracy. The fuck even is this video? What am I doing? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so for the remainder of this video, I think I'm gonna just cut to some live com footage of. Uh, well, first, let me say good news. I fanned. I I fan. I fanaged, guys. I fanaged. I managed to find my way out of my creative slump that I was having, and I'm back to creating videos at a normal rate and I'd like to explain how I did that in a live comm style video which will be right here I'll just do like a shitty ass transition wow what a great transition that was amazing so I think that the first thing I should start off with in this sort of live slash not live beginning part not live this part live commentary is I am starting to get out of my slump and I'd lock and I'd lock and I'd lock and my and I'd like to just talk about how I sort of did this in a sense and what my process of learning how to get out of the slump was because I feel like some of you are also in the slump. I saw a lot of comments, a lot of encouraging comments and stuff saying that you guys were in the slumps too for with your editing and your creating and your video creating, whatever, your content making, whatever you're doing in life. Oh, hey. Oh, he died. <laughs> A lot of you were saying you were also in slumps when it came to whatever your job or whatever else you're doing in your life. And I felt like I should talk about how I managed to get out of this slump I was feeling myself in. Now, to be honest, the solution was quite simple and I can't believe I didn't think of it before. The solution was actually quite easy and uh, if I, I'm just going to say it straight out. I literally just set a timer on my phone and keep myself focused on a video and tell myself that in this time you are not allowed to do anything else but edit this video <laughs> and that's basically it so if i have to go do something else like go to the bathroom or oh god kill streak so if i have to go get some food or like if i'm hungry get a drink or go to the bathroom or anything like that i would simply pause the timer and go do that whatever i needed to do hey hold on what's wrong with this car what is wrong with this car hold on 
And it looks like you got it stuck in there. Just a bit. Ah, shit. Wait. 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 And... Hold. And good as new. You're welcome. Anyway, I would pause the timer when I had to go do something else. And so when I get back to whatever, like, video I was working on, I would restart the timer. Or not restart it, but just continue it from where it was. So it was all a matter of keeping myself attached to a video and telling myself that you need to work on this video for this amount of time. I usually set it for, like, three hours. That was my usual and stuff, and that seems to work for me, so... Three hours a day on a video seems to be working quite well for me right now. It seems to be working. I'm very happy with that. And it also gives me other time to be uh, more social as I can put three hours uh, a day into a video or whatever. And then have other time to do things like go out with friends. And even do things like streaming, which I'm really enjoying recently. Links in the description. Go follow. And overall, just creating videos has just been really good for me. And it feels awesome to you know, get that positive response when I uploaded the what's happening video explaining how I was and how I wasn't feeling the whole YouTube thing at the moment. And I was just in that creative slump and seeing all those positive comments and stuff. It really brought my spirits up. The amount of people that I have that support me and want me to do well and want me to succeed and want me to be happy in what I'm doing in my life. It just means a fuck ton. And it's hard to explain how that feels to have the amount of people I do bring my spirits up and stuff like that and just see all the people that want me to be happy pretty much and i appreciate the fuck out of it I, there's no words that can explain it any better than that it's awesome i love what i do and i wouldn't trade it for the world that's the tldr version of this uh, entire video <laughs> another thing regarding talking about how i'm feeling about things is this game actually now some of you oh hey <laughs> some of you may know that my channel did start out as a battlefield channel like on battlefield 3 and bad company 2 and all that it did start out as that and it drifted away from that after i kind of got bored of the series like it kind of fell apart after battlefield 4 but as a person who came up on battlefield on youtube i can definitely say that if you are around for the battlefield what the fuck just happened i could definitely say if you are around for the open beta when it does drop which i don't know the drop date for so don't pressure me for that definitely give it a try for people that lost faith in battlefield such as myself definitely give this game a try do not pass it up if you have a chance to get into the open beta because i'm pretty sure it is like fully open definitely don't pass it up it's worth the try overall the game's a lot of fun and definitely give it a shot it honestly haven't felt this much fun playing a battlefield game since probably the start of my battlefield 3 journey it's been an absolute pleasure to get back to this series and i'm not fucking kidding about that here come the fucking oh this video is so obviously sponsored how much money were you paid to say that smitty shut the fuck up idiot oh here we go this is my favorite part of this game currently i think i see you <laughs> oh i love it also another thing that i've completely forgotten to talk about which i wanted to talk about in this video hold on i missed that and it's in regards to my upload schedule and I feel like it's important for me to talk about because it was also another way that I managed to get out of this slump that I'm currently in. Imagine I had this text file, which it does exist on my computer. And on this text file, I would have all of my upload schedule, like everything, every video that would go up, what date it would go up. So it would be the video and then the date I would upload it and whatnot before it was even finished. So let me point out that point is extremely important because one that is kind of what stressed me out when it came to making videos and stuff is having that date there as sort of a deadline. I was never a fan of deadlines in school and whatnot. It's something that always haunted me when it came to making videos because that date was like, if you don't have the video done by here, you fail. And that's not a good mentality to have. So what I've done is imagine the notepad file with everything like all the dates and stuff. And I basically just eliminated all the dates. Now I want to stress that this isn't going to change my upload schedule. Oh, I saw him. This isn't going to change my upload schedule. Wait, hold on. Okay, a little higher, a little higher. And I'm dead. Never mind. This is not going to change my upload schedule. I'm simply doing this for myself because I feel like with not having that date there will put less pressure on me to get a video done and I'll be able to do it on my own time. And I'm not saying like, I'm not, I'm going to start uploading one video a week. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm still going to try and keep my schedule as best as I can, as I always have. The three to four day threshold is, I think, a perfect timeline 
for the amount of time I put into my videos and stuff like that. When I removed those dates from the notepad file, I felt ridiculously relieved. Like it's, it's almost very hard to explain the amount of stress I felt lifted off of me. And not because I told myself, oh, I don't have to make this video by this date anymore. No, it's because I didn't have that stress. Hey, okay, fucking. So if you're a creator yourself and you're having this sort of issue where you're kind of in a slump and you don't, you're having trouble making videos in a sense. And if you have a schedule like I had, I'd recommend if you have the dates in there, try removing them. It may make a big difference like it did for me. Oh, hey, okay. The fuck? What are you doing? Hey. We don't allow that. Stop it. Hey. Stop. He disappeared. What the fuck? I found a bug. Am I hidden in this? You see me? He saw me. I've talked about a lot of things in this video, and I feel like I've talked about everything that I wanted to talk about, which I probably haven't because that's how these things usually go, and I always forget something when I'm rendering or making the video. I'll be like, fuck, I should have talked about this. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for just sticking with me and giving me all this positive feedback to even not the best problems in the world. I mean, this is kind of a first world problem. I understand that. I couldn't ask for a better audience, honestly. Damn, I am just completely murdering people while having this heartfelt speech about everything. I've completely debunked all the conspiracy theories of what my avatar truly is. Uh, we talked about how I fixed my slump in creative and cre creative creativeness. Is that the word? I even plugged my shitty t-shirt a few times I, or once. If you want to go get a t-shirt, the link is in the description. When it comes to the t-shirts, I want to thank you to all. Like I want to thank everyone who's bought one so far. It's amazing to see the response to my design for the t-shirt. I really appreciate everything. Oh, check this out. You're a dead idiot. But yeah, anyway, if you guys did like the video, and if even if you know someone that's going through this sort of creative uh, slump that I went through, send them this video. Honestly, it, it may give them something that may help them try and figure out a way around their problem. Did I explain that right? I think I did. Again, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. High quality memes ensue here, so you're... You're, you've been warned. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.